Welcome to the Industrial Technology Center. Today we're going to be measuring the flex and breaking point of different types of hockey sticks. There are two variables we're going to be measuring. First is the force applied on the hockey stick. The load cell at the front of our hydraulic actuator is going to give us the reading in pounds of how much force is applied on the hockey stick. The second variable is displacement. We have a displacement measuring device hooked up via string to our pad here, which is going to tell us in inches how far the stick travels. So we're going to know how far the stick flexes and the amount of force required to flex the stick that far. For the sticks themselves, we will be comparing the properties of classic wooden sticks to those of modern composite sticks made from woven carbon fiber. We will also analyze how sticks of the same material but with different flex ratings compare to one another. Our first order of business will be to get a benchmark for strength. Seen here is a graph displaying the force required to displace each stick 2 inches. Not surprisingly, the stick's stated flex is a very accurate indication of the force required to move the shaft a certain distance. Notice that variation in force required for sticks of the same flex rating is due to brand discrepancy. To make our results as realistic as possible, we must simulate the hockey sticks in use. To do this, we will put each stick through 5,000 cycles of 1 inch displacement using one of the Industrial Technology Center's hydraulic testing systems. So now that we've put our hockey sticks through 5,000 cycles, it's time to retest them to see if they've lost any of their flexural strength. The following graph shows the degradation of stick strength after a simulated long life. The results follow a surprising and strongly correlated trend. It can be inferred from our data that the higher a stick's flex rating or strength is, the greater amount of strength it will lose over its lifetime. Now that we have an idea of how use affects a hockey stick's performance, it's time to push them to failure. Here we see a wooden 85 flex requiring 173.4 pounds of pressure to break. Here we see a composite 110 flex requiring nearly 255 pounds to break. In this shot, we see a composite 95 flex requiring an amazing 322 pounds of force for it to break. Looking at the data for stick breaking points shows another surprising trend. Composite sticks with a higher flex rating require less force to break. This is likely because fibers are much more closely woven together. While this makes the stick more rigid, it allows for less maximum travel before its ultimate failure point. In conclusion, we have made three interesting observations about the flexural properties of hockey sticks. Firstly, Wooden sticks lose flexural strength much faster than their composite counterparts. Secondly, the stronger a composite stick is, the faster it will lose its resilience. And thirdly, the higher a composite stick's flex number is, the less force that is required to actually break the stick.